Hello my friends, so I welcome you from Bremen city. We are here at the Domshof Square here in, in the right in the, in the heart of Bremen, in the city center of Bremen. And um, yeah, today we have a quite cloudy day. It's not that sunny, but it's still dry, so it's okay, so it's not raining. So I want to show you some places here in Bremen, in the city center, some uh, very special places. So really in the core of Bremen. So this is the first place, the Domshof Square. And um, I think this live stream will take around maybe half an hour, maybe maximum 40 minutes. So please just enjoy this walk in Bremen, okay? So I switch the camera now so you can see everything. Okay, enjoy. So here we are in Bremen uh, at the Domshof. I just enjoyed my, my breakfast, my, my coffee time here in a very nice uh, cafe. It's called the Alex Cafe. And um, actually this square here, this uh, Domshof square is a huge square um, with some traditional historical buildings alongside so for example here you see the uh, city hall the actually this is the uh, the back side of the city hall here you can see already the saint petri cathedral uh, the peters cathedral and then you have some bank buildings here this is a bank building now you can see see it uh, clearly so so we'll go closer later because there's a stage here in front of it i think they have a concert here and at the moment they also have a market i think every saturday morning or maybe even uh, several times per week I'm, I'm not sure but definitely every saturday morning there's a market here where you can buy your fresh fruits and veg vegetables uh, i will show you later here there's another building this is another bank this i think this yes this is a deutsche bank this is a, a german bank building the deutsche bank this is the uh, biggest German bank institute, the headquarter of the German bank, of the, of the Deutsche Bank is in Frankfurt and this is just a, a subsidiary here in, in Bremen, a branch in Bremen, old historical building and as I told you over there this is another nice cafe, the Alex Cafe. Okay, so I take you on a walk here now on the, on the Dom, Domshof Square, so firstly I will want to show you the market, the local market. This is just a small local market. I hope the sound is okay and uh, you can understand me clearly. Again, the uh, cafe, the Alex cafe. And here we have already some market booths. Okay, let's see what they offer here. Okay, some herbs, vegetables. Fresh eggs and meat, poultry. Fruits. Again, the f famous German sausages. Ham, sausages, meat. So this is a butcher's shop. And <laughs> another butcher's shop with sausages and meat. So you know the German people, they really like sausages and uh, meat. Okay, and this is the stand. There's a rooftop bar on the roof. On top of it, I can show you. Wait. Actually, this is also new for me. I haven't seen it. See, there's a rooftop bar. When it's nice, you uh, when the weather's nice, you can have a drink over there. And I think down there was a stage for some bands playing. This is also a quite new building here. This is the uh, Bremer Landesbank. 
just next to the Deutsche Bank. Okay, what else do they have here? Okay, juice, different kinds of juices. This is uh, apple juice. I think it's all apple juice. It's apple and pear juice. Everything homemade, marmalade, jam, very nice. Again, fruits, a cheese booth, so you can buy all kinds of cheese. Very nice. Bauernkäse, farmer's cheese. Looks very nice, very colorful, right? <laughs> Here you have some uh, biological harvested um, vegetables and fruits so you know the um, the German people they really like bio fruits and vegetables having been uh, harvested and, 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 and uh, grown without any chemical allegedly chemical substances okay again the Deutsche Bank and the Alex Cafe. Actually, you know, this Domshof is uh, this pavement here is all cobblestone, cobblestones. So, uh, and uh, a huge part of this uh, Domshof of this uh, square here, there's a cellar underneath, a big wine cellar. I'm not sure if this is uh, Germany's biggest wine cellar, but there's a big wine cellar underneath where they store precious wine bottles okay another cheese booth vegetables again sausages yes you can go up to the bar, to the rooftop bar. And the cathedral, St. Peter's Cathedral. Actually, this is also a very interesting place here. This is a nice food court. A food court, it's called Markthalle 8. So I just go inside to show you the entrance of the Markthalle 8, the food court, and you um, can enjoy some uh, local specialties, but not only local specialties, also I think some specialties from all over the world. So I can't go inside now with you because of Corona, so you see the restrictions, they are really very tough. In Germany, you have the GGG rule, the 3G rule that allows you to access this area. The, three, 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 the, <laughs> the 3G rules means genesen, geimpft, getested. That means uh, recovered, tested and or all vaccinated that means you should prove that you are either recovered vaccinated or that you have a valid pcr test so you should show them the proof about this otherwise you will not be allowed to enter this area but uh, here you have a lot of stands and you can enjoy very nice food nice food Okay, 
It's called Markt Halle 8. Okay, let's go outside. Many more things to show you. They even offer some pizza here. Pizza and curry. Yeah, you have a nice fountain. And again, the city hall from the side and from the back. Later onwards, I will show you the front. And again, the Bremer Landesbank, a big bank building. Okay. Now we are going to the spitting stone, or the spit stone. This is something very special in Bremen. Even not all the Bremen citizens, they don't know the history and the, yeah, no, the, the story about this spitting stone that is placed into the cobblestone pavement right next to the cathedral here. I will tell you the story. And we are looking now for the spitting stone the spitting stone of Bremen let me see where can I find it sometimes it's even hard for me to find it ah I found it here so <laughs> I tell you the story about this so this is this, this small spot, this is called the Spitting Stone of Bremen. What does it mean, the Spitting Stone? Actually, it's quite ugly, the, the, the story, but I tell you. Okay, here on this big square on the Domshof, in medieval times, not only medieval time, I think the, um, just 150, 200 years ago, the executions took place here. The executions on this place. Because this is a huge place and you know, usually executions took place very often, very frequently next to the church. Because the church, many years ago, had a big influence on the, on the society and also stood for righteousness and for law and for legal order, law and order. And the last execution that took place in Bremen took place here, on this spot, where now the spitting stone is. Where this spitting stone is, there was the guillotine. That means they cut off the head of the of the criminal, of the person that has been sentenced to death. So this cruel death machine, the guillotine, stood here. This was a place where the people have been executed and all the crowd they gathered here on this place on the Domshof and watched the whole procedure of the execution. And the last person who has been executed here on this place was Geshe Gottfried. So Geshe Gottfried was a woman who supposed to have uh, poisoned her lovers and her husbands. She's supposed to have poisoned, I think, several, several men and she has been executed here. And, and she was a, a, a Bremen citizen 
and because of um, this story of, of this uh, bad woman or the brave citizen they just spit on the stone as a sign of disgust and therefore it's called the spitting stone hello, hello. Yeah. so we are live <laughs> we are live all over the world so where do you come from where do you come from Ah, sind Sie Deutsche? Ja. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, this was a group of German tourists. Of, of a German tourist. And they are also exploring the city of Bremen. And their guide is also explaining the spitting stone and the story about the spitting stone to them. Okay, let's proceed. So you see some, some more stands here, the local market fruits and, and vegetables. So I hope you enjoy, you are enjoying this uh, small walk with me here, live walk in Bremen. I really love my small city. It's a nice small city. Actually, Bremen, yeah, to tell you some, some numbers, it's not a big, a really big city. Actually, it's a city, but it's not a huge city. So Bremen has a population of around, a population uh, of about uh, 500 inhabitants. <clears throat> so it's a middle-sized city. And, uh, you know, Germany um, is divided into 16 federal states. So Germany is a federal republic. It's also called the Federal Republic of Germany. So Germany consists of 16 federal states and Bremen, the Hanseatic city of Bremen, is one of these 16 federal states. So the Bremen citizens, they always have been uh, proud of being independent and actually they have their own federal state and uh, besides Bremen also Bremerhaven this is another even smaller city just next to the North Sea um, belongs to the federal state of Bremen so these two cities Bremerhaven and Bremen um, yes form the federal state of Bremen and uh, later onwards we also see the parliament of Bremen so every federal state has its own parliament here in, Germ uh, here in Bremen it's called the Bürgerschaft the Bürgerschaft is the name of the local parliament the local parliament of, uh, of Bremen we will see later uh, okay 500,000 population and with Bremerhaven with this other city so all it's, I think it's around 650,000 uh, population of this federal state Bremen and that means uh, Bremen is uh, yes, the smallest federal state of Germany so actually it's called uh, city federal state so we have three city federal states it's Bremen Hamburg and Berlin and the other federal states they are uh, yes uh, they are um, area federal states they are bigger it's not only a, it's not only a city it's a really an area like Bavaria, for example. Okay. Let's go on. So in Bremen, of course, you will see a lot of artists and musicians, street musicians, street performers, entertaining the crowds. So let's see what is this. This is a kind of magician. Of course, the children are very attracted by. No, it's not a musician. It's an artist. It's a. But the, the children, they are very attracted, of course, by this artist here playing with 
with the bubbles, with the soap bubble, bubbles. Yes, this looks very nice, right? Okay, and this artist, this entertainer, wow. This entertainer, he is performing just in front of the St. Petri Dome Cathedral. So this is the biggest church of Raymond. So I try to go inside with you, inside the cathedral, the St. Petri Dome, the St. Petri or St. Peter Cathedral. I'm not sure if I can do this now in Corona times, just go inside. Maybe I should put on my mask, definitely. And if I succeed to go inside, I just will be silent for a while. I think it's maybe a little bit difficult or awkward to talk to you when I'm inside the cathedral. So just enjoy some moments being inside the cathedral. Okay, hear you later. I'm putting on my mask now. Schon in der Bibel steht, bedecke dein Haupt.
spreche ein bisschen leiser. Ich hoffe, dass ihr mich versteht. I'm talking a little bit more silent. I hope you still understand me. So this is the old tower clock of the cathedral. Apparently they have exchanged it for a new one. And they just put the old tower clock here as an exhibit. And this tower clock is from the year 1647. So it's really very old.
So, we are back on the Domshof Square. We left the cathedral here on the side entrance. Because of Corona, they uh, divided the entrance and the exit. Exit is now at the side. So I hope you enjoyed this cathedral, the uh, St. Peter Dome Cathedral, St. Petri Dome. It's really very nice dome. And uh, if you are in Bremen, I recommend you to, or suggest to you to climb the tower. You can uh, climb one of the uh, clock towers and from above you have a wonderful view on the marketplace and on the city center of Raymond. i show you in a second. So you can climb this, this uh, right tower up to there and from there on the top you have a marvelous view. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, I told you Bremen. Bremen is a federal state of uh, Germany, one of the 16 federal states of Germany. I have to, to stop. The tram is coming. And every federal state has its own parliament and this is the Bremische Bürgerschaft. This is the parliament of the uh, federal state Bremen. Next to the parliament there's the old stock exchange. The parliament. Guys, many things to see here and many things to explain to you. So please come to Bremen. So at the moment there's a music festival, the Musikfest Bremen, the music, music festival of Bremen. And apparently they are rehearsing there. It looks very nice. So here in the middle of the marketplace. So another view on the parliament. Actually, I like these instruments. I think they're called xylophones. I'm interested to, to listen to this concert. Maybe I will go there. Okay, another highlight of Bremen, the city hall. How marvelous is this, this city hall, right? We just saw the side and the back of the city hall. Now you see the front side. Let's go a little bit closer. Marvelous, so beautiful. Very old historical building. Yeah. 
one highlight after each other, the Bremer Roland. So what is the Bremer Roland? I tell you a little bit more about the Bremer Roland. The Roland of Bremen. So this statue just stands here in the middle of the marketplace. And the Bremer Roland, this person symbolizes just the freedom and the wish and, uh, and, and the attitude of freedom of the Bremen citizen. So as I told you already before, the Bremen citizens, they are very proud of being a Bremen citizen and of, of their uh, federal state, of their small city. And in history, they always wanted to be free and independent. And the Bremen uh, Roland, he is just uh, symbolizing this uh, sense, this spirit of freedom. And he has a sword in his right hand. And uh, it's just a symbol of the protection of the free spirit of the liberty of Bremen. So he is protecting the liberty of Bremen. The Bremer Roland next to the city hall. Okay, let's have a quick look at the four, at the, actually this is the most famous thing in our uh, uh, story and legend in, in, in Bremen. Let's take a look at the four Bremen town musicians. Maybe you have heard about them. The Bremen town musicians, the famous, world famous Bremen town musicians. You can see them here. The Bremen town musician, actually this is a fairy tale by the brothers Grimm. And the Bremen town musicians, actually these are four animals. There's a donkey, a dog, a cat and a rooster. And there's a fairy tale about the Bremen town musicians. If you Google it, you can read it, definitely. You will find it in the internet. And uh, these four animals, they have been abused by their masters and uh, they fled from their home and then uh, during their, their um, walk or, or journey they met each other on the way and they agreed they want to go to Bremen. So they run away from their master and they agreed they want to go to Bremen and to have a happy life there. And then they settled down in Bremen. Yes, and this is uh, uh, the, the story of the Bremen town musicians. Also a kind of a statue symbolizing the free spirit of Bremen. And um, here you see what this uh, girl is doing now. She is touching the legs of the, the donkey. And you can see the legs of the donkey, they are already golden because so, so many people touch these legs and if you touch these legs that means you you're lucky it brings you luck so if you if you're in bremen so don't miss out going to the bremen town musicians and touch the legs and you will have a lucky happy life everybody is touching the legs actually there's another church Okay, the side entrance of the town hall 
and this is the famous brewery Maratzkeller. A nice restaurant where you can enjoy some local traditional food of Bremen in North Germany. I like it that you have here these trams, so you know Bremen is not, as I told you, not that big, 500,000 inhabitants, so there's no underground system here, they don't have a tube, so they s still have trams operating. But I think it contributes to the nice uh, city atmosphere. It's, the trams just belong to Bremen. And around this marketplace, you have a lot of cafes. You see also the people, they are sitting outside now. Despite the fact it's not that warm today, but in summertime when, when it's sunny and when the weather is really very nice, so you really can enjoy your life here. Have a cup of coffee or tea. Okay, let's go on. See many people enjoying their tea, their coffee, having a cup of cake. A piece of cake. You can hear the the church bell. Another historical building, the Chamber of Commerce. There you have a shopping mall inside. Mm -hmm. And here now you have a very nice view on the city hall, St. Peter Cathedral and the parliament. So the last side I want to show you for today is the Böttcherstraße, the Böttcher Street. It's a small, tiny street here, just leading to the marketplace. A very special street, you will see now. It's called the Böttcherstraße. Ja, 
Böttcherstraße. Böttcher Street. So here at the Böttcherstraße, you will find a lot of special shops, special art shops, so you can really buy very special designed gifts and pieces of arts. Also some tea, there's a tea shop. You know, the Bremer citizen, they really love to drink tea. Basically in the whole of uh, North Germany, people like to drink tea. Again, the Bremen town musicians, you, everywhere you, you can see the symbol, because this is the most famous symbol and landmark of Bremen. The donkey, the dog, the cat and the rooster. Different kinds of tea. Maybe we should go inside. Darf ich ein paar Aufnahmen machen? Ja. Danke. So, you will find a lot of different kind of tea and uh, accessories, teapots, tea mugs. Ah, oh, they have a shelf just for black tea. So this Schwarzer tea, black tea and grüner tea, green tea. Wir sind gerade live. Ich mache uh, live YouTube stream. Ich möchte meinen Zuschauern nur Bremen zeigen, ein bisschen. Ja, sehr gerne. Das hier sind auch noch die original Delta Kacheln an den Wänden. Ah, okay. Genau, also hier steht auch unser Denkmalschutz. Ah, okay. Okay, the lady just uh, gave me some additional information. So you can see here some very special tiles. They come from Delft. Delft is a town in the Netherlands. So they are called the original Delft tiles. And uh, yes, this is also a piece of art. So they decorated the walls with these uh, <laughs> original Delft um, tiles, yes. And the sales lady also told me that this building is uh, protected by law because it seems to be a very old building. Everywhere you, you can see these Delft tiles. Very nice, very beautiful. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so 
So in aside from this Böttcherstraße, you always will find some yeah, small courts, inner courts. Everywhere you, you will find pieces of arts. So this is really a street about art. Very beautiful. And uh, as I told you, everywhere you will find the Bremen town musician. I think they are also here. Yes, they are here. And just take a look. Ah, another piece of art. This is Ludwig Roselius, the Gründer der Böttcherstraße. Okay, the founder of the uh, Böttcherstraße. And just look, uh, take a look at uh, the buildings. Aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful and very special in their own way. And here again, the Bremen town musician. The donkey, the dog, the cat. And what's that? Somebody has stolen apparently the rooster. What a shame. The cock is gone because he's such an object of desire and is stolen again and again. We have now taken the cock in the museum in custody. Unbelievable. <laughs> Another store with uh, homemade jam. Uh, even they put some, some uh, alcohol inside here. There's a whiskey custard. They, they sell jam, custard, spices, herbs. Liquor. There's a soap shop, Bremer Seifenwerkstatt, all kind of uh, toiletries, soap, soaps, creams, shower gel, shampoo, everything for your bathroom. Sponges. I think these are natural sponges. And of course, not only shops you will find here, but also some restaurants. Do you enjoy? It's nice, right? So this is also a special restaurant. It's called the uh, Ständige Vertretung. You enjoy some local food, but not from this area. I think also from this area, but basically not from this area. But you enjoy some local food here from the area of the Rhineland near to Cologne. The area around Cologne. They also have their special food. Really cool. Bremen is so cool.
And another site, the famous chime of the Wirtschaftsstraße over there. This is a kind of bell tower, chimes. But so, what's, what is so special about these chimes? These chimes are made of original Meissner porcelain. Porcelain made in Meissen. Meissen is a small town in, uh, in East Germany. And this town is very famous for the, uh, for the porcelain manufacturing. And I think three times, yes, three times every day this, these chimes are playing. And when they are playing, this rotating window opens and it shows whilst the chimes are playing some scenes of the history of Bremen, of the trading history of Bremen. It's really very nice. It's like a small um, yeah, cinema show. All the people enjoy. And you know the, the porcelain of uh, Meissen is very precious and very expensive. And here you can see the times when the chimes are playing. They are playing at 12, 15 and 18 p.m. <laughs> Here you have a small cinema. They just show special movies. You don't see these movies in the bigger cinemas. Then you have a bar. And over there, there's a sushi shop, a sushi restaurant. Wow. You are so lucky, you can hear the chimes playing. Captain Sushi. So our tour, our short tour of the city center of Bremen is almost going to an end. I hope you enjoyed this tour, this live tour. At the end, just listen to the sounds of the chimes again. You can see the window is rotating. Now it's showing the history of Columbus. So I have to corrugate my mistake. So I, firstly, I just thought this uh, window is showing the, the stories about the, the history of Bremen, but not, it's not the fact. So I think this uh, window and the pictures are showing just the history of famous seamen and explorer. So we just saw Columbus, and now it's Fulton. Yes. So 
it tells you just the names and a little bit the story about the famous uh, seamen and explorers that discover the world. Because Bremen has a connection to all what is maritime and what is sea relating, because Bremen is a seaside or Bremerhaven, the, the, or the city of, or the federal state of Bremen is a, a seaside federal state. And Bremen did a lot of trade with foreign countries, ship trading. And nowadays there's a huge seaport in Bremerhaven for big container ships. Here in the Roselius house, you just saw Roselius. Roselius is the founder of the Becher Street. There's a museum now. Museum in Roselius house. You always will detect some special things. You see over there on the roof, there actually there are three here. There are three sculptures, man standing on on the chimney. So if you walk through this butcher street, you will detect a lot of details. So I wonder if this lady here can tell us a little bit about what she is selling. I asked her if she is willing to give us an interview. Just some short words. Sprechen Sie Englisch? Nicht gut. Wären Sie dazu bereit, wenn ich Ihnen ein paar Fragen stelle, so ein kleines Interview auf Deutsch? Ja, so was Sie verkaufen hier und so weiter. Okay. So this sales lady, she's very, very friendly to me. And uh, what's your name? Wie heißen Sie? Tabea. Tabea. Her name is Tabea. And Tabea, what are you selling in your shop? Was was verkaufen Sie hier? Um, also hauptsächlich Tees um, und dann auch noch schöne Süßwaren, also Gebäck, mm -hmm. Geschirr. Dann haben wir Konfitüren, Honig. Okay, so, okay so, so she's selling uh, tea, of course, and honey, and some sweets, and some jam, and then we have some biscuits, and cakes, and some mugs. Okay. Um, and, and, yes, yes, a lot of um, um, it's cups and, 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 and jugs, especially for tea. But only for tea, right? Not for coffee. So this is only specialized uh, on tea. So it gets here nur um tea and nicht um Kaffee. Natürlich kann man auch ähm, die Becher und Tassen auch ja, Kaffee nehmen. Ist klar. Also bei dem Friesland-Geschirr oben, das wird direkt für uns hergestellt. Mhm. Da gibt es dann auch Kaffeetassen. Hallo. Mhm. Hallo. Sie dürfen gerne rein. Ja. <lacht> mhm. Und Sie haben auch eine große Kollektion an grünen Tee, ne? Ja. You have a big collection of green tea. Also mhm. sowohl als auch, ne? Grüner Tee, schwarzer Tee, mhm. hinter Ihnen dann auch noch der Kräuter- und Früchte-Tee. Ja, yeah, so we have green tea, black tea, and this is herbs and uh, fruit tea. Oh, I haven't seen it before. Okay. And the green tea, so where does it come from? Where kommt der grüne, grüne Tee? 
glaube, die meisten kommen schon aus China, aber mhm. es ist schon auch unterschiedlich. Es gibt auch japanischen, ah, okay. auch koreanischen, okay. es gibt auch einen afrikanischen. Also es wirklich, mhm. ja. Okay, so, so mostly the green tea derives from uh, China, but they, we, uh, they, they have some, even some green tea from Japan and from Korea. Okay. So, thank you very much. Danke. Ich danke auch. Gerne. Ähm, Sie, also wenn, wenn, ja, wenn Sie möchten, das geht ja live jetzt. Mhm. Wir sind auf YouTube. Okay. Ähm, aber das wird auch real live da gepostet. Ja. Und wenn Sie es ausschreiben wollen, Sie können es nach, nachschauen dann. Ja. So, ich ich habe äh, den Zuschauern den Marktplatz gezeigt, äh, den Domshof und ist hier die Böttcherstraße. Ja. Und das ist der YouTube-Kanal mhm. WTF. WTF. Mhm. Und mein Name ist William. William. Das wird ein langes Wort zusammengeschrieben. William Travel. Wie, T R A V E L Travel Frequently F R E Q U E N T L Y Genau. So, wenn, Sie, wenn Sie das eingeben, dann werden Sie äh, mich sehen und mit so einem kleinen Hund im Arm und dann, dann sehen Sie das. Okay. Tschüss. Danke. Danke. So, I just told her, I just said uh, thank you to her and. Uh, told her that we are live here of course on YouTube and that I will repost, repost it of course uh, as a real live video on YouTube. Oh, this is beautiful, right? And that she can uh, just watch the whole video as you can, can do it on YouTube. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little tour. So I just showed you a little part of Bremen. So we have seen the uh, Domshof uh, Square, the cathedral, the town hall or the city hall, the marketplace, the Bremer Roland, the Bremen for town musicians and the Böttcherstrasse. But there are many, many, many more things to, to see and to detect here in Bremen. I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos. I really appreciate it. I really would be happy. So just follow me up. So every Wednesday, every Wednesday and every Saturday, yes, at 6 p.m. Central European time, there will be a new video and every day there will be a shorts. Shorts is just a video, maximum 60 seconds, but you also will enjoy. Just look for the shorts of William Travel Frequently. Okay, so see you next time again. Bye bye.